Pak. The families of the Javon Belcher and Cassandra Perkins are responding to the murder-suicide that uh, took both the couple's lives. Belcher, as you know, is the Kansas City Chiefs linebacker who police say shot and killed his girlfriend Perkins in front of their home on Saturday and then drove to Arrowhead Stadium and killed himself. Belcher's aunt spoke to reporters. We will cherish the wonderful memories we have of Javon and pray that those memories will bring us peace as we grapple to understand the unpredictable and tragic ending of his life and the life of Cassandra Perkins. Cassandra Perkins' family released a statement saying, quote, we appreciate the outpouring of love and concern for our Cassandra, Cassie Perkins. Our hearts are truly broken for Cassie. She was a beloved daughter, granddaughter, sister, mother, cousin, and friend. So let's talk about Cassandra a little more this morning. Uh, Diana Reese is a freelance journalist from Kansas City who posted an article on She the People, the Washington Post women's blog. Good morning, Diana. Hi, how are you? Um, I read your article and um, I was touched because I was listening to a sports radio talk show in my car driving home yesterday and the guy on the radio referred to um, Cassandra Perkins as that woman who was shot who had a kid and, and I was kind of stunned by that. I, I know how you feel. Um, yesterday, my editor asked me to write a piece about the local reaction here in Kansas City to the murder-suicide. So I got on Twitter and, and Facebook and talked to some people, and everything seemed to be this outpouring of grief and this mourning for this wonderful guy and just what could have happened, and he must have snapped, and maybe it was um, repeated head injuries, whatever. And there was just not the mention of Cassandra. And finally, there was one tweet from a second baseman of the Royals who said, um, hey, we need to remember. We need to remember her. And, and why she might have died. Police don't know for a fact, but um, people seem to be leaning towards domestic violence. I think, I think in this country, we're still confused by domestic violence for some reason. I think we are too, and I, I honestly, I didn't realize just how pervasive of a problem it is. It really is an epidemic. Um, I discovered yesterday that one in four women will be affected in some way by domestic violence, or the new term is intimate partner violence, um, and an average of three women a day are killed by a boyfriend or a husband. So two other women died on Saturday besides Cassandra. And I actually found a website that told who they were. There was a woman in Chula Vista, California, with a three-year-old whose boyfriend stabbed her, and a 32-year-old woman who was shot by her boyfriend in New Orleans. And, and you can tell there's confusion, and, too, and, by, by the way the Kansas City Chiefs reacted, because the day the game was played on Sunday, there was a moment of silence. Neither name was mentioned. And you think if the moment of silence was in, you know, in remembrance of domestic violence victims, maybe the chief should have mentioned Cassandra's name. I can understand why they didn't want to mention um, Jovan's name because of everything that had happened, but it really does seem like they should have had that moment of silence for her. She had been involved with the chiefs. Um, th there's an organization of chiefs, wives, and girlfriends. She'd been involved with them. They all knew her. Um, her cousin is actually married to another chiefs player. She should have been remembered by name, I think. Um, so when all is said and done, and then this story goes by the wayside, as, as you know, most tragic stories do, sadly. Um, <laughs> yeah, as a country, true. will we have learned anything? I hope that there's more awareness. If you have a friend who's in a situation that you think is abusive, maybe you need to talk to her. There are shelters and there are places to get help. One of the people I interviewed uh, yesterday was the director of Safe Home, which is a shelter in the Kansas City area. Um, there is help out there. I think that we need to be careful who the role models are for our sons. There's another pro program, Coaching Boys into Men, that works with um, sport, um, sports teams and their coaches to, uh, of young kids to help them teach them how to treat women with respect. We need to get past that culture of violence and we need to be raising boys that will treat women with respect and not resort to violence.
Diana Reese, thanks so much. Appreciate you being here this morning. Thank you. It's a picture that should warm your heart. A New York City police officer giving boots to a...